Welcome back graduates. Today we're going to go over a few stores, see what they're doing wrong, see how they can improve on the conversions and also give some suggestions uh, here and there. So one of the things uh, that I look for just to uh, better my knowledge and also for you guys to check out and see what the trend is, things like that, is uh, go on to Reddit and under that a subreddit form of review my Shopify store. So already you can already tell that uh, people are just asking and, and um, posting, uh, just review my store, review my store, this and that. So the very first one, we're going to jump right into it and it's going to be this pet jet. Uh, so this is my first time going on to this today and I just want to show you how it is in real time, what the review looks like. So this is going to be a brief and I'm going to go over a few of them, but I already see, let's, let's start with this one, petjet.shop. Um, not necessarily you want to do dot shop, it, it's okay, but uh, I like dot com a lot more, it's better practice. Um, I can already see that the header is way too big, it's taking up too much space. Yes, you do want your logo to be front and center, that is your brand, things like that. Um, for example, Nike is so simplistic, it's just a, a swoosh and people just recognize it. An apple is a Macintosh, you know, apple with a bite. Um, a uh, bit off of it and that's huge just very simplistic but everyone can always identify it from anything else so i like this it's a paul uh pet jet it doesn't really tell me too much of it i i would want especially the paul maybe to be um coming out of the the um the p from the logo or on the other side just make it nice and horizontal instead of such tall and vertical so it doesn't take up too much space uh on the navigation um a few a trick to always see uh what a theme uh is using this is using solo drop i've heard of solo drop they are pretty good it is a pretty good uh theme if you ever want to look into identifying a theme uh just do what i did uh go into view page source and then start typing in theme name most people like 87 and 93 percent of people will not be able to uh, know how to do this so you're already ahead of the game uh, so then you type in theme name and this is what the theme name is going to be most of the time people do not change this out uh, so in our theme we do name it ecomify just so you guys can see it uh, right there and also we have it in the console log as well uh, so this is using solo drop it is um, i've heard it's a really good theme pretty fast um, while we're doing this audit we can check out gt metrics if i haven't used use all my credits so far uh, so right over here we have a really big banner clean pets comma clean pets what you really want to make sure that your uh, the headings really clear your offer is really clear for your customers um, then I don't even see a call to action you want to always state your call to action you have a good call to action here 30% off make this clickable to the collection that is 30% off um, scrolling down here again you don't have the call to action then you have really small you know icons here and just it just looks super small because uh, of the space the the white space on top and bottom um, it might even look uneven spacing but I see a very faint faint muted gray here so it might be just the section itself so reduce that I would definitely reduce that I'm not sure how it looks on mobile yet um, it's this simple all right so it's this simple I like this, it explains how, it explains um, what they're offering and, and how it's being used. So it is a, it is a pet jet shower um, thingy and you put soap in it and it just um, sprays really strong uh, shampoo and then you rinse. So that's how it works, um, what it is. Um, it, I can already tell it, it looks uh, really strong. That's what, um, that's what people are looking for when they're uh, shampooing their dog is something a uh, really nice strong stream coming out uh, especially with a lot of fur uh, if you have a dog with a lot of fur again the white space we're looking at the design here about us this is good you always want a little bit about us um, on the home page and then a call to action directing them to another about us because um, you want you want customers to know that there's a human behind your product your product line your business your company so that's always good. Um, one of the things I would suggest, maybe a signature at the bottom, maybe like a faux signature um, from the person. I like this, the testimonials. Instead of, instead of uh, these awkward sizes, I would make them scrollable so it doesn't take up image with text too much uh, space. You want everything clean, digestible right there in your center. Um, 
and then you have follow us on your socials and no other you know links in the footer uh, definitely have your uh, terms privacy um, and, and tracking even but then a second menu for you know easy navigation with like shop um, and bestseller but I do see that this is a one product store so I would also so let's see okay so now now I see this Bye. okay clean pets happy owners bye bye groomer clean pets okay so this kind of now that I look back it's a little uh weird the first the very first time a customer goes in um goes onto your website you have about like 10, 10 milliseconds for them to actually um, look at it and want to scroll down and continue scrolling down. Uh, you got to make an impact that quick uh, on, and, and have it be a nice, clean branded store and a good heading. So right now, when I first went onto this, this was not, um, this did not get my attention. I did see the emotion behind the cute dog, which is great. I, I wish I saw um, someone actually using the product on the on the home page um on the home banner itself first instead of scrolling down then i don't see what the product is uh then it's simple so i would want to see the product and then the benefits how it's made and then testimonials um and then a call to action and then the about us uh so let's go to the product page again uh they don't have a contact um a collection page because it's just a one product store so the pet jet i'm gonna go on to here the pet jet 26 dollars um, and this is a compared price, the reviews, that looks really good. How real are these reviews? They might be from AliExpress. Um, we don't know where, there's, where they source them, um, but at least they have reviews. Uh, you got the swatches here, and then you got the pet, the pet uh, squirter thingy. Um, add to cart, let's see what happens when I add to cart. Then I have a discount, which is great. Now, what I would do is, you know, I would leverage upsells as much as you can for your customers on the cart or on the cart page, depending if they add and then have down here um, uh, uh, recommended for you. I know this is a one product store, but if they want to scale this, they could probably add adjustments to this. Later on, this plastic might break or the nozzle, um, you know, have attachments for the nozzle specifically for that. Um, I don't know about this part if it frequently breaks, but understand also then um, if it does break, you know, you try not to have your products break too soon, but it is 23. Things are meant, things are, you know, meant to die and uh, be broken after a while. So for this, I would uh, recommend subscriptions. Definitely subscriptions for this. See um, how long, maybe four months. It depends on this product, especially, um, and the durability with this product. I would love to see some features, some benefits listed right up here, front and center, and then and then uh, maybe video, maybe people using the video uh, here. This is how it works. Again, on that home page where you see how it works, maybe deliver that again on the product page. And then, and then you have the customer reviews, but everything, I would work on the spacing more or less on this, on this um, and some video content of how, uh, how this works. I know it looks pretty, you know, self-explanatory, attach, spray, but um, you don't know. Uh, so for here, this is a great image for uh, before and after. I would actually make this as a section itself. Um, increase the, the image with this using uh, a scale it up and then also just making a compare, uh, a compare and contrast before and after image here, really stating like it, it works wonders. Uh, and then the reviews under that and then another call to action that anchors to the add to cart above here. Um, and then the contact us should be pretty typical. That looks fine. Socials do go to, they do not. So if you look at the lower left uh, corner, uh, they're just going to their links, uh, the TikTok link, the Facebook. So definitely make sure, I know this is pretty self-explanatory, but definitely make sure that your social links are going to your social links and not just the, uh, the platform itself. Some people overlook that. Um, buy now. So you have another call to action. So you have the pet jet and then you have a buy now. I feel like hmm, that could be rearranged a little more or maybe have a border around the pet jet or a, a paw, something like that. But again, um, the, the paw is just taking up too much, too much space. There's just too much white here. I create some videos. Again, the bullets uh, on the 
the first time when you view viewing it, you see right up in center the features and the benefits that this produces for you and, and why you should buy it. All right, so um, that, and it is, uh, in a green, it's getting a 1.1 uh, 1 .1, uh, second for load for largest contentful paint. So that's good. Solo drop is a good theme uh, for that if you have more of a uh, one product store. Anyways, so uh, let's go back into the next one. Please review, uh, review my site again. And it's another pet. It's another pet uh, pr uh, company. All right, so this is pet supply shopping. This is really good, at least that they have the logo, nice and uh, small, condensed. Um, and visible on the left and then the menu on the um, in the middle um, So they are using uh, dawn theme Right over here. I can tell always by this bag icon this bag icon is just so interesting to me And I don't know why dawn doesn't have the option to switch out the icons But anyway, so they have a good call to action and it's linkable. That's great. That's uh, that's awesome So they're already taking into that now this takes up too much of <laughs> too much of this home banner is taking up too much of the space. I'm taking about two, two and a half scrolls to get down to what I want to see. In addition, the image um, is blurry and not crisp. It does not tell me. Um, it, it shows me it's a really cute kitten, but nothing more. So I'm just curious by this image size what this is going to be. Anyway, so scroll down, cat stuff. Okay, let's get into uh, like heading titles, um, cat stuff. Honestly, it would be, um, I know it's cat stuff because I'm on a cat or I'm on a pet supply shopping page. So I, I'm expecting cat things. So I would do like feature prod featured, um, uh, feature products or best selling new arrivals, something more than just cat stuff. It seems like this store is not completely done yet. Um, and, but I like, I like the hover state. I'm always a fan of the hover state. I would uh, go into here and then reduce the heading title a little bit. I like this, ask a question. Now, where's the question? When I go to ask a question, I get to the reviews. I don't wanna get to the reviews and, and then there's a scroll bug. Um, if it's to ask a question, I want a modal. I'm suggesting a modal that comes up and it displays um, a, a contact page to literally uh, contact a human behind this, this brand. Uh, reviews is good. So that's, that's great. It looks like Judge Me or, or just typical product reviews uh, stylized. Um, and then they have the installments, quantity. Uh, then they have a good badge, 45% off. That's great. And then now I know that this is a definitely drop shipper because most of the time um, back back then uh, when you're doing, you know, um, AliExpress and Wish and things like that, when you imported it, it would always say ships from and you can choose uh, where where you want to ship from. So this is definitely uh, a AliExpress product. And if you don't already know, uh, one of the things you could also do is right click and search images for Google. This works for any anything you want to search, uh, any image you want to search, really. You just hover over. And on the right sidebar, it's going to just let you know, like from Etsy, it, it's pairing Etsy, kind of looks like an upside down mushroom, honestly. Um, AliExpress, right here, cat scrape. Okay, so it's a cat scraper scratcher. Um, and they're selling it for $16.24. And um, they're, or they're selling it for $19.99, but it's actually around 14 to 16. So that's not much of a profit margin, um, actually. Oh, that's insane, actually. But if, okay, so that's a really good video, actually. And just make sure there's no watermark on it. You can use the products and the images, um, or the, uh, the images here, uh, but let's see if they actually are using the video for that. Oh, they are, okay, that's great. I would just uh, honestly make that maybe the second uh, here, so you can kind of see how it's how it's how it's done, how it's um, set up. It looks like there's a couple variations of it setting it up down here. This incredible toy is perfect for you, for perfect way to let your kittens exercise while maintaining their playful nature. All right, so that's amazing. That is actually great. That's that's a good um, heading, and then I would do maybe bullet points on this. Uh, bullet points, features, um, they do the reviews, and then really products. Um, there's just too much white on these product images. I would make the, this one like emotional 
and use the kitten right here. I would make this the first one and then the hover be the video um, because when I go to accessories, it might be accessories or no, it's under toys, I think. So toys, and that's great. That's another thing I wanted to just uh, show you right now. I didn't know where it was under, but I knew it was kind of like a toy or accessory. It wasn't just like a bed, bowl, things like that. Uh, so they do a good job um, creating the collections here. So I was able to just navigate quickly and know that it was a, a toy. So I went into here and I just... So the navigation they did pretty well. They have a sticky card. Let's see what it looks like. Add to cart. Now it's very interesting. It's they're selling it for nineteen dollars, and AliExpress is sixteen dollars or almost nineteen dollars. I'm not so sure how they're able to um, get some profit off of that, unless you know. But I don't think they're uh, they're manufacturing it, or this is like patent or anything like that. So that's very interesting to me. Um, let's go back to design accessories. This is going to be the collection page. Again, I always love the hover state, uh, especially with a more branded store. What you could do is present the product and then the hover state has the uh, has like four lists of benefits as to why uh, that product is great. You should choose it, things like that. Uh, so choose options. Quick view, quick view um, always can get a little complicated if you have other uh, variants and variables uh, like upload feature and also other custom line item properties and in a really custom, in a really complicated custom form. Then uh, quick view gets a little more complicated. But for here, this this works fine. I would recommend changing out their uh, their option colors and not just uh, leaving it by the default when they're importing it from uh, their source uh, because I know that. What is purple op? What is orange op? What is gray op? Um, so I would just change that out uh, and then make them actually color swatches as well. Nice and visible. Good call to action here. And then quick links, you know, this looks, you know, fine. There's a lot of spacing again. I think Dawn needs to work on their, um, their, the margin and, and padding, honestly. They always have, for some reason, a lot of space and a lot of extra spacing that, that isn't needed. Uh, so, Oh, so that's so strange. This has the color swatches, but on the quick view, it doesn't. So make sure that your quick view is the same as your product page that has the, sw has the swatches. It might just be a few code uh, changes here and there. Uh, so again, uh, scrolling back after the very big uh, cat image, uh, cat stuff, now dog stuff. Okay. Again, I'd rename this just a little different. Um, okay, best selling categories so this looks fine and then pet shopping site we are getting okay so this is more a little bit about us that's great i would uh now here i just add uh, even spacing on the bottom you can tell that there's more on the top than the bottom um so here would be a perfect example of adding a little more space and then a link to about us if you really want to because here it doesn't really look there's not many trust trusting factors i see on this like when i go to here the first time i land on this page after it doesn't even load i don't get a trust like i'm gonna spend my money i'm gonna drop my you know 23 dollars whatever it is uh for this product at all um and it's not you know any bash on the supplier or on the uh, business owner behind this behind this pet supply shopping store it's just that the store just, just doesn't look as trusting as it should with without the testimonials um, and things like that and just some things look off brand to me um, so here we have quality products for pet parents give your furry friend the best mm. Okay, e either you could center this kind of like this or just not even have this. And then here's good icons here. I, where did these lead to? Okay, so this leads to the About Us page. Um, this leads to free shipping. Okay, so here you do not need this icon uh, to have a link and have it go to a separate page called free shipping and then have it say use code 2023 at checkout when it's stated right here. But you want this to go to a product page or a collections that you're promoting uh, for that. You don't need a separate page because, first of all, that's a lot of clicks. That's going to lose conversions. Uh, that's just going to be really confusing. Also, if you do, there is an option in the discounts uh, to create automatic, uh, automatic discounts using this code. So this is really interesting. That's a really 
interesting, I'm going to keep on saying interesting uh, tactic uh, for that. And then where does this go to? Okay, refund policy. Mm. This could definitely not need to be linkable. It, it, most of the time, it's not linkable unless there's really important information on that. Um, and then view our collections. Why is view our collections at the very bottom here instead of here? Why is there, again, another button here after this when it really should have been here? And instead of view all, then it should be view all, view all our collections. And then you may also like, so you may also like, usually isn't a section on the homepage itself. Usually it is um, on the product page and it is generated through AI's like system where if they land on that product and then they go to another product, then it kind of just showcases a cycle based on their browser and things like that. So not sure why and how this could be, unless it's a manual feature products that they just, you know, created on the homepage. But uh, you may also like usually is on the product page for that. Um, and then here, uh, here for them, this store I would definitely recommend. Uh, why are these doubling? Okay, so these aren't color swatches though. Okay, so these are not color swatches. These, well, red battery, yellow battery. These, this is confusing. This could either be, you know, a color swatch or just drop down menu, honestly. And then you have the size for it. Um, very interesting. And then uh, the quantity. So I like the buy more and, and save. Ooh, interesting. That looks like it's an app and it's kind of, Interesting. That just looked a little weird, the styling and this and everything. Um, here, there's a lot of payment methods here. You don't need that if it's all the way down at the bottom, which you have a lot of options, which is great. Um, let's hover over and the socials are uh, linked to the right platform. Um, I, I do think that this is unfinished. There could be a lot more uh, with this, but it looks, it looks okay for what it is. I definitely feel like there could be a more playful vibe with this, especially just also renaming the headings um, and the descriptions, lay out the benefits and the features a bit more, upselling on them down here, order notes, but down here, recommended for us. I'm glad that they're using a slide out cart. Slide out carts do work uh, really well now. And then they can just, the customers can just click out and, and um, just one click and continue shopping as opposed to click out of that page and go into another page uh, from the cart. All right, so let's go to the next one. And my store. So literally, you can just go into the subreddit and see all the stores. You can also probably see the competitors and see how they're delivering their products uh, to their customers um, and the content and things like that. So let's just do one more store. You can also read up what they do here. Uh, I'll. So I like this again. This is a beauty. I love beauty. I think beauty is an up and coming uh, industry. The this is this theme is on Dawn. Again, I can already tell. Um, if not, view page source and you can see those are already on Dawn. Uh, so Beauty Source Canada, I think that without this um, salmon colored background, this would look really great as just Beauty Source Canada, maybe in black. I can see that their secondary color is black, so that's great. Um, that does link. That looks awesome. Uh, so let's go here. Your online beauty shop. Shop the latest trending uh, cosmetic cosmetics brands. Cosmetics brands and enhance your look. Okay, that's great. Shop all. Instead of like a shop all or get started, use more of an aggressive, like unique call to action, like um, um, enhance my beauty now or enhance your look. Honestly, enhance your look would be the perfect call to action for this. Um, and then it goes to probably collections all. So that, that looks great. I really recommend removing 16 products or uh, the count on the collections. I think it just looks tacky. I think it looks spammy. Um, customers don't want to see how many products are in a collection. Um, going down here, just in, revamp your look. Okay, so revamp your look, explore our catalog um, of amazing Canadian and international brands. So that's fine, that looks great. Just in, and then subheading, subheading. I love the products. I think the product images are great. I think for beauty, a lot of it works with pastel backgrounds or white backgrounds. Um, and definitely hover state for this, just like this. Just makes it super clean. I do think that 
um, there needs to be some congruency with, you know, if you're going to have a sub subheading here, have one down here or not at the top and, and keep it all the same. This, for some reason, is um, a portrait mode, and then these are square. I would keep them all the same. If you want something nice and bright and vibrant, especially beauty in your face, then have, have maybe three in a row and just really nice and bright. Also, have some, um, some more people in it, some beauty products or some beauty people um, in it as well. So makeup brushes, again, you do have a subtitle here, so just make this one have a subtitle. A lot of brushes here. And our quality, we source, um, source in Canada. That looks fine. It looks like maybe they're on Amazon too. Our Amazon favorites, are they on Amazon? Visit Beauty Store, it might be the same company, so that's great, honestly. You can go into them, you know, fact check um, the company back and forth, so that looks good. So going back to here, I do think that they, they have a lot of potential with this. Beauty is such a big niche, and, and, the, and beauty, you can do so well in it if you market right and if you present your products um, in a clean, branded feel. Um, I Honestly, I think Dawn is a great theme to always start. I'm seeing that people use Dawn, and it's free, and you can do a lot with it, and you can code, um, and but there's always going to be limitations. If you want something that is uh, starting out uh, really well, then look into a premium theme. You get what you pay for. A premium theme, you have a lot that's already there that you wouldn't have in the free theme. That's why they're giving it to you for free. Uh, all right, so our mission, that's great. Catalog, I like this. I really like lip gloss, so I'm just gonna look into this. It's kind of blurry to me, and I would honestly have, I would honestly have a person uh, using um, like a picture of a person using it, things like that. All right, so also this looks really small. Um, and there's three different size fonts here. There's like a heading two, a paragraph, a, like a paragraph, a super small, um, like smaller text here. And then there's a video that you have to, so if this video is here, I would, I would have a thumbnail for this because it just looked like there was a video and I knew it was a video, but I wanted to play it. I just wish there was a thumbnail of a person wearing makeup about, about this lipstick here. And then I would make this, some of this content, if they're repeated on other products too, um, collapsible content and then um, through a dynamic source um, because it's just a lot of scrolling. All images are in order. All images are in order corresponding to the shade list. Okay, okay, and then here's the uh, collapsible row where they could have the ingredients. They could have how to care for it if you need to figure out how to care for a lipstick or, um, and, then the, uh, and then the chemicals. Is this, you know, cruelty free, things like that. Instead of have these, these do not work for this store. And then you may also like um, here, um, I would capitalize the first of each one at least, and then make it maybe a heart, make it playful, something like that. Um, and then here, make this scrollable. Make this a scrollable you may also like. Again, for example, you may also like from the other store, it was on the homepage. This eventually um, would, based on what I looked at previously, uh, changes up you may also like, or you can do related items too. Um, in a new uh, app called Search and Discovery, you can uh, change out the related, you can um, really change out the uh, related and cater and select products that you really want based on that, based on when a customer lands on that product, you can uh, specify what, what you want for that. Um, the, the menu or the uh, footer is, it's fine, it's generic. It looks the same as most of them, but at least they have their terms, you know, at least they have um, other menus here as well. Um, and this is not using a, oh, it is using a slide. I was just taking a little bit slower. But uh, here, this would be perfect for swatches, origami, black cherry, pink lady. Um, especially you want color swatches with this, uh, with the makeup. For sure. Um, brands. So shop. I don't know what that, you know, really led to this brands page. I don't think that um, that was needed. It doesn't really tell me because it's kind of in plural saying there's going to be more brands than this. But all I see is this Lipani brand at the moment. Um, or it could be like our brand or something like that. But um, 
those are just a few of the uh, mentionings and reviewing of uh, this. I really think that they could. Uh, this doesn't look done as well. They definitely should um, take a, look, a closer look at this store because apparently they are on Amazon. And if they're doing well on Amazon, then let's try to you know make them do well on their Shopify store, Lapani brand. So this is theirs. Um, there's actually not many. There's only one review so they're just starting out i think as well but here are a perfect example of the swatches um and then here just use a, a use chat gpt to you know change it up a little bit um but here are some you know similar brands that they can copy off of and um, get inspiration from uh for videos uh but i do see that this has a lot of potential so um but that's it for my uh, product or my uh, store reviews. Um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, if you need to reach us, it is going to be uh, support at ecomgraduates.com. And um, until next time.